Hi everybody! My name's Derek. And today I'm going to take you through a magical journey. <laughs> hey guys! I'm here. I uh, was just getting some stuff ready. Can everybody hear us okay? Is everything good? I think we're the only ones. Alright. So, well I can't, I don't know, go to the YouTuber. Yeah, there's no one watching. That means we can make love on camera. All right, cool. Someone liked it though, unless I was you. Oh, now someone's here. David's here. What's up, David? Welcome, happy Friday. Thanks for staying up to date on the time changes. I actually changed it a couple of times. So thank you, David, for tuning in. He's like, yeah, I didn't pay attention. I just happened to be on the internet right now. Oh. He says, 10-4. 10-4, hey, Thomas Tommy. Well, while you guys are here, uh, Guys, which color, what color cup do you want to use? Pink, white, more pink, green, or blue? Sound off in the comments. Um, we made it another week. We survived. Sorry, I was like running late, getting all the stuff together. But today, we are making, let me put this down first so I don't drop anything. Guys, today we are making mini crustless pecan pies because I should put the link in the description section, but we made a mini crustless pumpkin pie, which I really liked, but Derek didn't really like because he hates pumpkin. But he likes these pecan pies, so we're already, we're already golden, right? They also are gluten-free, dairy-free, and they don't have any refined sugar. So they're Full of, fr of fun. They're so free of fun. They're full of fun. They're actually very good. Uh, I think that they taste pretty good. They, they say green. Green? All right, we're doing green. I ran out of Halloween cups. I thought I had more, but I do not. Um, what happened to the can of butter? Are we just like out of butter? No, we still have can of butter. Are we just done doing cannabis stuff right now? No, remember like in earlier in quarantine, when we stopped doing edibles because we were the only ones eating them and we had too many edibles. And that's why we stopped making things mm. infused for a little bit. But if you wanted to make these infused, you could add infused coconut oil. Or you could use butter if you're going the with dairy route. Ooh, butter. Ooh, butter. All right, so I am right now filling my muffin tin with cupcake liners because we are gonna make these little pies in the muffin tin. And then we can talk about our ingredients. How does that sound? I'm enjoying this orange. Are you? It's good. You want a piece? Uh, yeah, just one sec. Let's see. Today we are using one, oh wait, picture in picture. I love the picture in picture. Guys, one whole cup of maple syrup. That's a lot of maple syrup. Maple syrup's expensive. This is, we're going crazy here. We have three eggs, one and a half cups of chopped pecans. Uh, I ran out of pecans, so to be perfectly honest, there are some walnuts in here. We also have one tablespoon of bourbon. This is actually brandy because I thought we had bourbon, but we didn't have bourbon, but we had brandy. So we're gonna try it with the brandy, but I'm telling you that you should use bourbon. And this is one half cup of monk fruit sweetener. That's right, you heard me. We're using monk fruit sweetener today. This is my first recipe that I've made with monk fruit sweetener, and I'm actually kind of impressed. I bought it at Costco. Uh, I didn't it, see if it has smell. Monk fruit sweetener is extracted from the monk fruit and it also has an additive to make it measure, to make it substitute one to one. So if you are using a cup of sugar, you can use a cup of monk fruit sweetener. And a lot of people believe on the internet that it's still a little bit sweet, which I kind of agree with, but we're rolling with it. And we have one quarter teaspoon of salt. We're using Himalayan pink salt one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one quarter cup of melted coconut oil. Now, I need to get a pot holder for this because I actually don't want it on there yet. Mike Finney says hi. All right, Mike Finney, here goes. <clears throat> here goes my short description of Death Race 2000. 
not rented yet. Yeah, we haven't seen it yet, guys. Sorry, Mike. Sorry, Mike. I'm sorry, Mike. All right, I'm just going to eat this orange. I'm sorry. Yeah, I said you got it. Okay, so we have a double boiler here. You can see. Can you guys see that? You can sort of see it. So it's just a pot with some water in the bottom with a glass bowl on top. Um, but I actually don't want... I actually don't want it on there yet. I jumped the gun, so we're gonna we're gonna take it off and put it on the table. Uh oh. Uh oh. So we're gonna start first by adding together some of our ingredients. Just shuffling things around. Here we go. That's not. You can't see that, guys. How's that? Can you see that? Okay, so we are going to start by adding our melted coconut oil. Is this item that you're wearing as a shirt also for sale in your Poshmark clothes? Oh my gosh, you're so right. This item that I'm wearing for a shirt, it is a shirt, is also for sale in my Poshmark closet. And if you're skinny like her, just note, <laughs> it doesn't fit correctly. Well, it's a size small, so it's a little bit big for me. I would usually wear an extra small. So I clipped it Dang, to Dang, you tiny. In some brands, I would even wear an extra, extra small. Or I could just wear children's clothes, whatever. All right, so that's my coconut oil. I'm also adding my monk fruit sweetener. Mmm. Mmm. My monk salt. Fruit. Do you think that monk fruit uh, found its place at a monastery? Maybe. Probably not. And it's a fruit from southern China. Uh, my maple syrup. What did Mike say? Something about a bit. Oh. It would have been funnier right after Lauren talked about the point system. Probably not. Wait, what's the point system? You already lost me. The point system. The point system. Is that a Death Race 2000 reference? That, that we might have? be a Death Race 2000 reference that we just don't know about. And my eggs. So basically everything except the vanilla extract and the bourbon we're adding into this bowl. And then we're going to mix it up. If you weren't eating egg. What would you use instead? Yeah. That is a good question. There are a number of egg substitutes. I don't know how they would react in this recipe because I would have to try it first. And... We don't want this already on the double boiler because it will cook your eggs. And so we don't want scrambled eggs inside of our pecan pie. That would be kind of gross. That would be kind of gross. So I'm just going to mix this to get the eggs <clears throat> mixed in there. And then we're going to put it on top of the double boiler just to dissolve the sugar. Because just to we dissolve. want it to be, we don't want it to be like grainy. Just to dissolve. Just to dissolve. Just to dissolve. Just to dissolve. We were going to watch The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. Has anyone seen that? I think we're going to watch that maybe tonight even. Yeah, we're going to watch that maybe tonight. Even. However, Sir Kasim G would like to play some of that spooky game. Alright. Well, it is Halloween. Do you guys have plans for Halloween? Uh, the point system is where you get... All right, where you get points for hitting people while driving. Um, oh, that sounds like something I would like. Like, you like hitting people in real life? No, in the game. Did I still already cook No, different game. Egg? He's talking about the movie. Death Race 2000, oh. you get points for hitting people. I know, it's like a video game, but in real life, in a movie. Sure. Okay. Okay, so we have this nice and combined. I think I have some eggs for a little more. And I'm going to put this... On top of my double boiler. Pew, 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 pew. You see? With like the trash in the background. And we're just gonna keep stirring it. What trash? You're trash. This isn't, okay, I'm sorry that there was a piece of orange. Okay. Nonge. So I'm just gonna keep, thank you. This is I just wanna move this so you guys can like sort of see it. How's this? Thank you. Is this good? So I'm going to stir right. it just until it is switch cameras again. glossy. Well, this isn't a good angle either. You don't like that angle? I, I would want it to be higher so they can see in the bowl. Mm. 
Guys, I think because I had my bowl on top of here and I didn't want it to be, I already cooked some of the egg. But you're not eating it, we're eating it, so whatever. While you, can you stir that a little bit? While Derek stirs that, I am going to evenly disperse. Here we go. I'm just going to evenly disperse our nuts. Should be all pecans. But it's not. Into the bottom of these cups. Y'all don't know this by now. Just uh, don't ever follow recipes, apparently. You know, you can make substitutes sometimes. Isn't that what cooking's about? Experimenting and substituting? What's going on with this vanilla? We're going to add that after the sugar is dissolved. How about the brandy? After the sugar is dissolved. And this is actually how you would make a traditional pecan pie. You put the nuts in the bottom, and then you pour the filling on top. How many of you are following our van conversion? Um, we will. So the plan for the van, the van plan, is that we're going to drive it to Texas for the holidays, which is where we're from. So if and when that happens, FYI, you guys, we probably will not be having live cooking videos because I think we might. That would be, we might, but we have been recording a lot of this van conversion. Vanpocalypse! So, so maybe, just maybe, you're going to get a different kind of video on the channel. Like some little van conversion vlogs. Oh, it's going on know. your channel? Is it going to go on your channel? No, let's put it on the station. Let's put it on the station? That doesn't exist anymore. We could probably get a little bit. Okay. So... Have Shay put it on his channel. That looks pretty, that looks pretty good. Okay. It looks nice and shiny and glossy. And so now we put the vanilla so in So now I'm going to remove it from the heat. Someone's talking in the other chat. Uh, they say that we're funny. I know. I want them to indulge in me some more. Oh, Derek loves compliments, you guys. Uh, it's because I didn't really get them growing up. And uh, between that and the abuse I received, uh, it's nice getting it as an adult. Okay. So thank you, Tommy. Um, also, yeah, Young Frankenstein is a great Halloween movie. We have seen it. I've seen it. Have you seen it? Yeah, but I don't remember. It's been a while. Yeah. So, can you see our mixture is combined? Now we so put in the brandy. But it's bourbon. supposed to it's be bourbon. bourbon. Wink, wink. I was going to just leave it out. Hey, it's the same barrel. Derek said that we should just try it and see what happens. It's the same barrel, but it's more of a wine than it is a whiskey. Yeah, I don't really know. And now that this is nice and combined, we are just going to pour it into our cups. So it will be a lot easier if you actually put this in a measuring cup with a spout. Or if you have like a funnel, like an oil funnel. But I'm just going to go for it. So we're going to see how much of a mess I make. How does that sound? How much of a mess will she make? How so much of a mess? we're going to divide it evenly. You could have just poured it back into the syrup container. Mm, that's a good idea, babe. You want to do that? No, I think I'm going okay right now. And you can see how those pecans just float right back up to the top. You mean walnuts? They're mostly pecans with some walnut. Uh, I'm concentrating. Yay. Finally caught you guys. I'm a Canadian herbalist incorporating our goodness with yours. Hey, welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry, I'm concentrating on pouring and I haven't spilled yet. But she will. <laughs> Don't jinx me! Alright. So we want to just evenly, I'm just eyeballing it. Evenly divide And for those tuning cups. in, this has a uh, uh, half a cup of. <laughs> of Blue mushrooms. Yep. Uh, you know, I would advise not driving heavy machinery for at least four hours after. What are blue mushrooms? Is that what they're called? Uh, I don't actually know that there's a lot of strains of mushrooms oh. that, uh, that have the psychedelic psilocybin in it. 
You can buy them online now. Did you know that? Really? You can just buy shrooms online. Wow, I didn't I know. know that. Yep. Okay, we <laughs> have... Okay. So I just poured it evenly in my cups, and I'm going to put them in the oven at 325 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. Can you get that, uh, that scrambled egg out? Yeah, guys, I messed up. And I even warned you about it, too, about the scrambled egg thing. But here we are. Here we are. They're asking if you've tried acid. Um... Yes. She had a bad experience. I have tried it once, if you must know. She's still waiting to have that good experience, but you know, we do own a van now, we so. We own a van now. All right, and you want them to cool completely before you serve them because the filling does have to set up. You might even want to put them in the refrigerator to speed the process. Mike says he has some mushrooms in his drawer. His special desk drawer. Is it something that you go into while you're It's probably you're like a hidden drawer. Oh, no way! Does it have like a secret trap? Because that's pretty cool, Mike. We just put it in the fridge. I don't yeah. know why we have it in the fridge. I just... Is that I like think, to keep it fresh? Well, I've always, like for some reason, put acid in the fridge too. Really? I think I do that because it's like an easy place to like not lose it. Like if you put it in the drawer or like the the egg tray thing of the fridge. I feel like mushrooms make sense because it's like an actual mushroom and you want to keep it fresh, right? Uh, but those sorts of mushrooms, I don't think it really matters if you keep it fresh. You just don't want it to like, I don't know. Uh, me too, giggle sticks. As in you have them specially in a special drawer compartment? No, I think she's saying that she can get shrooms in, in Canada because it's, because, well, they're not fucking idiots in Canada. Oh. Well, lucky for us, guys, I made a special batch. Of <laughs> so we don't have to wait for them to but cool. But these are exclusively walnuts. These are exclusively walnuts because I knew that I didn't have enough pecans. With no brandy or bourbon. So really, it's nothing like what we just made. Everything else is the same. Look at that, guys. Just let me let me let me show you what that looks like. Let me just eat the damn thing. Yeah, Derek just wants to eat the damn thing. Ooh, ah, and there we have it. We built a canna bonnet. Wait, ben what is it? Like, it's too canna, far away. Canna bonnet for oh, like a cabinet. Oh. Can canna bonnet. Bonnet. Yeah, I almost thought I was trying to say like a, a canna bidet. Canna bidet. Like just a cannabis butt wash. But yeah, what do you guys think of our cute little mini crustless pecan? Pecan do you, say, do you say pecan? Pecan or pecan? Pecan. I say pecan. But people say it pecan. Is this a bite and mm, switch? switch scheme? No, these are the same. It's the same. This oh, is a bite and switch the game. thing dirty. What thing? Oh, the table dirty. You're getting the table dirty. Well, bring me the plate then. Cut back. Nice and nutty, and there's and there's our nice gooey filling, which the pecan pie filling is. Hey, could we so put good. a crust on here? Well, the whole point is that it's crustless because we're gluten free now. Yeah, but could we put a crust inside the? The like muffin on the tin? bottom? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We could. And make little mini pies. We could mm. do that. Mmm. Yeah. likes it. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's It actually is pretty good. I was a little skeptical about the monk fruit sweetener thing because if you have ever made a pecan pie, it's straight up corn syrup. Lots of corn syrup. Yeah, it's much better. And sugar. And this is all maple syrup and monk fruit sweetener. Monk fruit sweetener has zero carbs, zero calories, zero everything. It it doesn't spike your blood sugar. It's keto. It's natural. I don't know. All those. And it's zen. <laughs> oh, you made those marshmallows. How'd they turn out? I love the marshmallows. I sure. love marshmallows because I love s'more. She's a s'more whore. I'm a s'more whore. That should be your ne your next channel. S'more whore? S'more whore. Like what kind of different kinds of s'mores could you make? I don't know. Mm. Yeah. 
Oh, this is good. You know, I had a friend that, uh, <clears throat> early days of YouTube, he, him and his friends made some, uh, this, this food channel. Okay. Where they just made the most ridiculously unhealthy meals. Mm-hmm. And, uh, he got so outrageously large. Mm. And then he had to get fit again. But I just remember, like, then they were just, like, throwing away. I mean, they were doing, like, 10-foot wide pizzas with, like, 47 hamburgers on it. And, oh. Uh, Epic Meal Time. I remember that channel, Epic yeah, Meal Time. Meet, didn't you meet Harvey? Oh, I don't Harvey know. Did I? I think you did. I've met a lot of famous YouTubers that I didn't know who they were. She didn't know what Chocolate Rain was. I did not. And she, she's... Do you guys know Chocolate Rain? She's hung out with Tay many of times. And she's like, I don't know who he is. I'm sure that he appreciates it because I treat him like a normal person. I treat him like a normal person, too. But if I had known who he was ahead of time, then maybe I wouldn't. I don't you know, know what's crazy is I've this known... This is good. I want another one. I've known Tay since I was 17. No, oh, and you're so old now. I know. Isn't that crazy? Um, they turned out awesome. We're definitely doing them again. Look out, hot cocoa canna bombs. Mm. I was thinking just like peppermint, peppermint marshmallows. I got sidetracked. <laughs> peppermint marshmallows with hot cocoa. That would be really good. Mm-hmm. You could like add crushed mm-hmm. up peppermint mm-hmm. inside, or you could mm-hmm. dip it in peppermint. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love peppermint mm-hmm. things. And also just s'mores. Just make them a s'mores because I'm a s'more whore. Well, s'more whore. S'more. We did it. We ate them. We made them and we ate them. Can we reinvent the pizookie? Into what? Something that's another version of pizookie so we can have pizookie. Like a gluten dairy free pizookie? Is that what you're asking? It just keeps getting better. Have you ever made firecrackers? I, I have not because they sound disgusting. Also, Derek doesn't like peanut butter. Um, but yeah, I've never tried them. They sound gross. Could we That's make, why I make my own things. Could we make our own Twinkie? <laughs> we could. We could probably, uh, mm, like a gluten dairy free Twinkie probably wouldn't taste. A lot like the Twinkie. Why don't you take a poll close. if people actually care about those gluten dairy free lifestyles? Really, this is not for you guys. It's for us. The gluten dairy. I don't make gluten free dairy free recipes because I think people will find them interesting. It's because we're trying to eat healthier. Sorry, guys. No. Sorry, offense. weenies. I did. I even got a physical yesterday. She and passed. I think. I, pa- I mean, yeah, the doctor said that everything was normal. I was supposed to get lab work taken, but apparently I need an appointment to go to the lab. Um, well, we are in a pandemic. We are in a pandemic. Uh, things are looking up. Mm. I like your positivity, David. I actually need that this week. This has been a rough week. Until today. Until today. Um, what was I saying? Oh, and at my physical, my doctor actually asked me about my eating habits, and I told him about going gluten and dairy free and no refined sugar and he was like good for you and I was like well we're kind of eating it now again and he was like oh because he was like did you feel better and I was like yeah I did but then we started eating it and then I just decided that the bad feeling that you get from eating those things is not as bad as not eating those things until you're like old and dying until you're old and dying yeah Remember in and out We're doing our best. We had... Oh, we were going to go eat in and out but instead we went to Wiener Schnitzel and we both got sick. No, we didn't. I didn't get sick. I think it was just like the next day. And not only did we go to Wiener Schnitzel, not only did I um, eat an outrageous amount of food that I probably shouldn't have eaten, they paid me $4 to do it. Yeah, he ate six. He ate six. I ate six hot dogs. I ate two. The dog got one. And they still paid us four dollars. Yeah, and he went back, and they called the manager, and they said it was fine. So what are we gonna do about it? So we got we, we got paid to eat we wiener schnitzel, and it was worth it. That's gonna be the title of this video: Get paid to, how to get paid to eat wiener schnitzel. 
I felt so bad. I told them. I know. You tried. Is, I tried. You tried. I was like, this is not right. You tried. You've refunded me $4. Yeah. Oh, well. Worth it. Worth it. I would eat wiener shits if someone paid me. If, if I had to pay for it. You nah, said you I liked the hot dog. I did, but this time I got sick. Like, I woke up in the middle of the night got sick. And you went poo-poo? I didn't go poo-poo until the next morning because I woke up and I took Pepto-Bismol. I'm mm. sure this is really the stuff that you guys want to know. Hey, they are diving deep. They have canna closets. No, canna cabinets. Cannabinets. 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 Yeah. We have a cannabis cannabis day. What would that do? Like shoot cannabis uh, into your butthole? Yeah, yeah, cannabis coconut oil. Just straight into your butthole. Don't even have to process it. Your body just gets instantly high. That's not true. That's not how you. That's not how you get high. This guy's FYI. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe like how girls would do vodka soaked tampons. Yeah, but people also do like, uh, like enemas that skips the liver with cannabis oil. Well, I don't know about with cannabis, but they with alcohol. That sounds awful. Yep. That just sounds like the worst ever. And she said, and he said, firecrackers sound disgusting. Yeah, they do. In comparison to cannabis, I think he's saying Wiener Schnitzel. Days. Oh, Wiener Schnitzel. It's actually not that bad. However, an all beef hot dog with no chili. However, to- though, if you live in the Houston area, James Coney Island, please sponsor us. Please sponsor us. Please sponsor us. James. Uh, is that even called that? James it's called something stupid. Like, Coney. Is it? Is it called like? JCI. J- JCI. What a they fucking dumb JCI. name. JCI. Also, if you live in the he's Texas area, I think Texas area. Shipley's Donuts. Ooh, Shipley's Donuts. Shipley's. Please sponsor us. Shipley's. Please sponsor us. Please sponsor us. Uh, oh, oh, sponsor oh, us. oh! And if you're also still in Texas, uh, uh, Kalachi Factory. If you happen to see this, they have us. one of those in Orange County. We looked it up. I think it closed. Damn it! This is gonna be our next adventure. We're gonna open it. Yeah, Kalachi we, Factory franchise. In a van. In a van. Brian asked us if we were doing a food truck, and I was like, no, we're making a camper van. He's like, oh, that's better. And I was like, is it? Uh, what were we looking at? Kalachi, Kalachi Factory. Fact. But Ka- we are so... The van plan is that we're going to fix up this van. The damn plan. Updates are in my Insta story. Uh, but we're going to drive from here to Texas. And Derek asked me where I wanted to stop along the way. And I got to put my list together, but most of them are going to revolve around food. So, because we probably won't be having live cooking videos on the van, yes, we keep these are other ideas of different kinds of videos that we might have. I'm just, sound, sound oh off, guys, in the comment section. Sound off. Oh, my goodness. There is a kolache factory in the Orange County. Oh. But it is, well, maybe it's because it's Friday traffic right now. I wonder what it would be when it's not Friday traffic to get there. Yeah. Because right now it's a Babe, you didn't record on the audio. Yes, I did. It's not going. I pressed record. It's not going. My bad. Thank you for for helping set up. All right. We got to redo the whole video. Everybody have the the same comments. Let's do this. I was gonna. I was just gonna sound sound off. I was gonna just sign off. Yeah, I need to go work outside before the sun goes down. You know, and it's gonna be daylight savings. So the sun's gonna go down earlier and earlier. <laughs> what are people wearing for their Halloween? How are you going to social? I mean, I guess. Should we do like? Don't you think Halloween should have never been canceled? I know they canceled in LA, and then like people freaked out and they uncanceled it. But like in theory. It is encouraged to wear a mask. True, but I think it's just like lots of people going to people's houses and accepting items that might TP be in houses? contaminated. There's a fire like right next to the... Oh no. There's a fire near the Kalachi factory. Please save the Kalachi factory. Um, yeah, we don't have any plans for Halloween. What if we invited people over and we watched a movie in the garage? Like Hocus Pocus. All right, so uh, it doesn't have to be in the garage because we don't have room in it right now. Oh, yeah. Well, then we can invite, like, one person so we can be distant. No, we can just do it on the 
Oh, on, on the, the, on on the, the door. door in the driveway. We'll sit in the driveway. All right. You're all invited. You're all invited, guys. That's not true. That would be scary. Please don't show up to our house. <laughs> anyway, on that note, thank you guys for tuning in this week. We made, uh, I don't have anything to hold up for you. We made mini crustless pecan pies, and they were a hit with Derek. Two tomatoes out of two tomatoes. They are gluten and dairy and refined sugar free and they were actually very, very good. You wouldn't know that they were healthy and good for you. Well, they're, they're probably not good, not good for, for, you. for you, but they're not as terrible for you as regular pecan pie. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, comment if you want to, check out the other links. There's a link to my Patreon page where you get recipe sneak peeks and other behind the scenes cool things. And if you donate enough, I will send you Derek, Derek Cupcake Ludes. <laughs> uh, happy Friday. I just drooled. Bye. Did I see that? Wait, Felicia. no, I have to say that again. It's just like, okay. Happy Friday and happy Halloween. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys next week. Ba 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 ba. Hold up. Let's ask. Should we always be at this time? Let's figure oh. that out. You should figure that out. Well, uh, yeah, guys. Do you guys like this time? 5 p.m. Mike, we're talking to you. This is yeah. This is for Mike. This is specifically for Mike because you're the only regular. <laughs> That's not true. David signs in a lot. I've seen Tommy before. Giggle sticks, I believe this is the first time. I've she seen said, Well, I finally get to see you because this probably means it's a good time. Who said that? She did! Oh, right? Monster Mask! Uh... It was a graveyard smash! Uh... We forgot to turn the fans down. How was the audio, guys? I forgot that the fans were on. I gotta go work outside. Okay, anytime in the afternoon is fine for Mike Finney. All right, Mike Finney, see you next week afternoon. Bye 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 bye. Bye 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 bye. Thanks, Mike. We're not leaving. We're not leaving super soon yet. I don't know when we're leaving.